Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 885. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we have some times in. And if you are 15 minutes late, you get a penalty of $2. Now, 15 minutes or less, you're not late. So 815 is not late. Late equals more than 15. Right? So here we're not late, not late. Here we're late by one 15 minute period. Here, we're exactly on an uh, interval of 15 minutes, so we're only late one period, one minute past 8:30, and we're back. We're at two 15-minute periods, so we're docked four dollars, two times four. All right. Um, let's first look at just calculating the difference between the time in and this. Time is a decimal between zero and one. It represents a proportion of one 24-hour days. And when you do the difference, you always take the later time minus the earlier time. I'm going to hit F4. Control Enter. Lock that one. So when I copy it down, it's locked up there. All right, so that gives me time format, because this formula <coughs> sucked that number format. But you can see there's 14, 15, 16 minutes. Now, I don't really want this. I want how many 15-minute periods there are. So I'm going to amend this. I'm going to, in parentheses, take that and divide it by 15. Now I'm going to do uh, in double quote 00, zero colon 15. Now 015 or 0015 is time format. In quotes means I'm hard coding this into the formula here. This is text, but the act of doing an operation of division will convert that number as text back to a number. All right, let's just see Control Enter. Double click and send it down. And uh, I'm going to have to use the keyboard shortcut. Control plus Shift plus tilde. That applies general. Control Shift tilde. All right, so we can see there's not one. Here it's exactly 15. Here it's uh, one just a little bit above 15, right? Now, that's how many. I really want to see only the integer, so I'm going to use the int function. Int will take uh, a number with decimals and round it down, All right? So which is, that's exactly what I want. Control Enter goes down to the next integer. The only problem is right there. We don't really want a 1. The count isn't 1. It should be 0. No problem. Let's think of a way to trigger, give, given our time input, to tell our formula when it's exactly on 15, and then we'll subtract 1 from it. Over here, how about looking at the minute function? The minute can look at a serial number time and tell you the actual number of minutes. Control Enter, Control Shift tilde. That's not really one. I want to know if it is exactly on an increment. That 30 is, that 45 is, that 0, that 15. All of those are what I'm interested in. That means I'm exactly on a 15 minute increment. I'm going to use the mod function. The mod function divides and gives you the only the remainder part. So I'm going to say mod. I'm going to divide that minute, comma, by 15. Right? This will give me the remainder. So here on the first one, it better be 14. Right, so oh look, the zeros are exactly what we want. That says we're at that uh, exactly an increment of 15. So now I'm going to convert this formula from a number to a logical formula. I'm going to say is that result equal to zero? This will deliver a true or a false. Now in Boolean math, false is zero, true is one. So what happens if I put some operator? on this. I'm going to put this in parentheses because I want to force that equal sign, which is at the bottom of the order of precedence in Excel. I need that to calculate before my minus. Because ultimately, I need to subtract 1 from this column. Right? The falses will become 0. The trues will become minus 1. So then I can take this a little bit right here, Control-C, come over here, Control-V. So that will give me the correct count. right? So I'm three periods past. I'm 7, I'm 12. And exactly on 8.30, it's 1. 
So now I need to multiply, and I need that subtraction to happen before multiplying. So I have to put my parentheses times my 2 bucks, F4. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. So there's one way to do that. Now, if you wanted uh, to have this connected so it's dynamic, this right here, forget it, don't put that. Just click right there and then F4. That is a, a decimal that represents 15 minutes. Over here, we have to get a little tricky. I need the, the integer 15, so I'm going to take that time, F4, times 60, times 24. Now, I can never remember how many minutes are in a day, but I know if I, I know that, I can remember that. If I highlight that and hit the F9 key, there it is. 1,440. So that, uh, that's a little bit more robust, meaning you can change this here and it will uh, update. Probably the formula we just had, which I think is right there, that one's fine, right? Because you probably have a, that is the company policy. It's not going to change, right? So there are our times. Now, one other way we could do this, instead of using the int, and I'm actually going to copy all of this. Control C and use it. There's an alternative for int. We can use the quotient function. Now, the quotient function, if I do mod, we, we just saw how mod works. It gives us the remainder. If I say 5 divided by 2, the remainder is 1. The, oops, I put a uh, slash instead of a comma. So the quotient is kind of like the complement to that. It doesn't give me the remainder. It gives me the whole number. So 5 divided by 2 is 2 remainder 1. So quotient delivers a 2. So then I could come over here. Equals quotient. And I'm simply going to take the time. F4, and I'm going to divide it by this, F4. That gives me the count of how many 15s I'm going to need to subtract one, so I'm going to control V. Now I do need to add a parenthesis at the beginning. So this little quotient here just replaces that int. I think I like the quotient better there. All right, um, and there's some other options we could do too, you know. Uh, if you're building this and you're thinking we have uh, this quotient part right here, that's just the integer part without subtracting one times that. But I, I built a trigger into the if. Now this mod delivers either a 0 or a bunch of other numbers, right? If I hit F9 here, I see it's 14. But the logical test in if interprets any non-zero number as true. So that 14 will be true which means it's not divisible by 15, so it just runs this. Otherwise, run this, and I just subtracted the $2 up here once it's uh, exactly on 15 minutes. Uh, that one we saw, there's another little variation there, and you could even, uh, well, that's the one. That, this one actually multiplies. Uh, doesn't subtract the quotient and mod before multiplying. It actually does two separate multiplies. All right, we'll uh, see you next video.